What's up guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the Sony Ericsson Xperia X1. Now I know this is a little bit of an older phone, but it's still pretty hot and one that I've really wanted to get my hands on for a few reasons. Uh, first, the sequel, the Xperia X2, is slated to be launched uh, sometime in the next few months, taking a lot of the cues from the X1, and we've seen a lot about the Android-powered X10 that'll be coming out sometime in 2010. So the X1 here, is running a very custom build of Windows Mobile 6, which means it's got this cool panel interface, which can be used to do a ton of different things, and actually you don't have to interact with Windows Mobile itself. It's sort of Sony Ericsson's take on uh, the TouchFlow 3D, for example. It's a skin on top of the OS, and I've played around with it, and it's a very good skin, and it makes the phone work really well, and it makes the operating system uh, enjoyable to use. So I'm really looking forward to taking a look at the X1. This can be picked up from uh, Sony Style, for uh, just about 700 bucks, so it's really not a cheap proposition. Um, but you can look around and there are certain other discounts you can find. It is a pretty nice looking phone, it's thin, it's got a full QWERTY keyboard. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it and I'll show you some of the specs as we go through. Go ahead and open up the FedEx box here. This is not a job for the big old knife because this will chop my finger open trying to uh, open up a FedEx box with a knife. Go ahead and peel this off. There we go. And let's see what we have inside. Here is the Xperia X1, and this has not been picked up by a US carrier, though it has been picked up by carriers abroad. So if you want to buy this, of course you're going to have to buy it unlocked. And it is quad band for AT&T's 3G network. So here we've got the Xperia X1, and if you've been looking for a full QWERTY Windows Mobile experience with the slide out keyboard, the Xperia X1 is probably one of the better phones out there but I'll use it and take a look. So here's the box. Got a picture of the device on the front. Looks like we have the silver one. I believe it also comes in black. Nothing on the side. Picture of the device letting you know it's Windows powered. And of course, it's got Wi-Fi, which appears to be B&G. 3.2 megapixel camera. It's got media. It's a touch screen, uh, which is three inches. And it has uh, assisted GPS. So it'll use its integrated GPS radio. And it also uses the cell towers to help coordinate your position. Here's a picture of the device. You can sort of see the panels right there, and I'll get to all that in sort of follow-up videos. Go ahead and open this up and see what we get. The top just slides right off. Kind of a cool looking box. Xperia. This is probably a similar boxing and branding we'll see to the rest of the Xperia devices. Looks like there are two separate boxes. We've got some uh, getting started guide. It's one of the fish panels. I'll show you that a little bit later. Some support. There's the phone itself. We'll leave that there for just a second and see what else comes in here. Pull this up. We've got charging cord, which appears to be mini USB with a wall charger. We also have a pair of stereo headphones with a microphone. And uh, looks what to be an extra stylus. So nothing else terribly exciting in there. Let's take a look at the phone itself, and that's what we're all here to see. It's very thin, it's got a really high quality feel to it. The screen's a little bit narrow, um, but not too bad. And that's got an 800 by 1400 uh, pixel, so 800 by 1400 on a three inch screen um, diagonal, which is sort of a, an interesting size for a screen. It's very long. Um, let's slide the keyboard out and see what it feels like. It's got a very nice sliding mechanism. It's got that sort of arched slide if you look at it. This was designed by HTC, although it is a Sony Ericsson phone. Keypad seems to be very nice, got a lot of throw to it. Pretty easy to navigate where you want to go. A big space bar, which I like, and a big enter key. Take a look at what else we have. On the left hand side, you've got your charging port, which is a mini USB. It's like slot right there, which is probably a micro SD expansion port. A microphone on the bottom. On the right hand side of the device, looks like you've got your uh, volume toggle, which is interesting. Most phones have it on the left side, but there it is. And then we also have, looks like a uh, camera and shutter button right there for the 3.2 megapixel camera on the back with uh, LED flash. And that appears to be about it on the device. You've got your lock and um, probably a power button as well, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the bottom, you've got sort of an interesting array of buttons and things you're probably used to with Windows Mobile. So you've got your send, end, and that actually is the power button, your OK button, 
and you've got a new panel button, which opens up a whole new panel interface, and you've got probably some soft keys. So let's boot this up, and I'll show you just a real quick overview of what it looks like. Just a quick two seconds, and I'll do a full video of the Sony Ericsson uh, panel interface. This may not even have a charge in it to even boot up. So I just got a little bit of a buzz, so should be something going on. Go ahead and zoom in just a bit. Okay, so the phone has booted up for the first time. It took about 35-40 seconds. Wasn't too bad, but the splash, the splash screen told me that it is running Windows 6.1, Windows Mobile 6.1 more specifically. I'm trying to connect to Wi-Fi here, but let me just show you very quickly sort of the piece de resistance of the X1, what separates it from the rest of the Windows Mobile phones. It has resistive touchscreen, it's not capacitive, but this panel button is what makes it very interesting. So you get these new sort of custom home screens, and there are a few more that you can download. I'll go ahead and pick one, for example. Each of them have a little different bit of utility. So we'll go ahead and just launch a fish one here. And these fish will start swimming, and as they swim, they'll start to change color, and that'll indicate that you've got a missed call or a text message. Um, sort of interesting things, and they'll swim around as you tap them. Um, and that is sort of just the, one of the fun panels. Uh, but there's a lot in here that have more utility as well, and I'll go through each one of these sort of more in depth in uh, an upcoming video. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy. This is John Rettinger with an unboxing for you of the Sony Ericsson Xperia X1. If you found a remote interest in how the Xperia X1 works and how the Xperia X2 uh, that's forthcoming is going to work, this should give you a pretty good sense of what you can expect. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.